This video resource is for training purposes only. Convectix is not liable for damage or injury caused by practice or misuse. Introducing the all-new Versa Pro Bedbug Heat Elimination System. This 120 and 240 volt hybrid professional bedbug heater is the ultimate in terms of power and versatility. This lightweight and affordable bedbug killing system easily utilizes many different sources of power, such as 220 or 240 volt electric stoves, dryers, and common 110 or 120 volt wall outlets. Whether you are treating a small bedroom that only requires utilizing three of the four available 12 amp inlets, a hotel with an available 240 volt PTAC, or even a modern apartment that has an electric oven with a 40 or 50 amp 240 volt plug, you now have a heater that can utilize all these power configurations and more. This product was conceived to fit the demands of experienced exterminators and professionals like yourself. Watch this short video to learn how to operate and set up the most capable professional grade bed bug heater on the market. The heater comes equipped with dual thermostats that correspond to either the side that accepts 110 or 120 volt power or the side that accepts 220 or 240 volt power. Each thermostat comes preset to 132 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not necessary to adjust the preset factory settings. However, you can easily adjust the settings by first pressing the set button and use the up and down arrows to make your adjustment. When you are finished with your changes, press the set button again. To begin setup, make a quick trip to the circuit breaker. This will typically tell you everything you will need to know in terms of available power. First, plug in the black cord that powers the heater's fan and the dual thermostats. This is also a good time to plug in any additional fans as well. Next, on the 110 or 120 volt side of the heater, you will see four inlets that each draw a maximum 12 amps. This means you can plug in only one inlet per breaker. You will need at least four 15 or 20 amp circuits to run the entire 110 or 120 volt side of the machine. You don't have to power every inlet in order to operate this machine. Just plug in an inlet for every 100 square feet you need for the room you are treating. You can utilize one, two, three, or all four inlets to power the entire 110 or 120 volt side and it can treat up to 400 square feet. Remember to complement the heater with multiple fans for proper airflow. The 110 or 120 volt side alone is all you will typically need for most single room projects. When utilizing common wall outlets, make sure the total power draw per circuit does not exceed breaker capacity. Electricians will put several power outlets on the same circuit, so you will need to plug these blue cords into different rooms, like bathrooms or hallways. The other side of the heater has two 220 or 240 volt 16 amp twist lock inlets. 220 or 240 volt power can be found in homes and apartments with electric dryers or stoves. Electric dryers typically have a 30 amp 220 or 240 volt outlet. This can supply one of our 220 or 240 volt twist lock inlets. From the breaker panel, you can determine how many 240 volt breakers are available and what they're being used for. Homes or apartments with electric stoves typically have a 40 or 50 amp power outlet. We supply a Y adapter and all the necessary connections so you can power both 240 volt inlets of the heater. When both sides are fully powered, the VersaPro heat system can handle treatment areas as large as 900 square feet when accompanied with high temperature fans. Remember that fans are essential in the distribution of heated air in all size treatment areas, but especially large ones. Note that walls and ceilings that are made of blocks or concrete will require more heat because they absorb heat slower than drywall. This means one heater will heat less space when you have walls or ceilings that are made with these materials. 50% more power is a general rule for these rooms, and it is useful to check the temperature of these surfaces with an infrared thermometer gun. All buildings are not created equal, and more conductive materials take more energy to heat. Once the room has been properly heated for the appropriate time, try to leave the room closed and hot extending the treatment time as it cools slowly. Temperatures will remain lethal for a few hours after the system is shut down and removed from the room. For rooms that will be immediately occupied, open doors and windows. Then, use the fans to start flushing cool air through the room. To learn more, please check out our other videos for proper room heat treatment preparation or attend one of our monthly professional bedbug certification classes. 
All this and more information is available at www.convectix.com. Thank you for watching this video and seeing just how easy it is to kill bedbugs with heat.